Hey guys, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel at Flippin' Hippos. Today's Tuesday, November 13th, and we are going to do a haul video. On Sunday, Keith and I went to two Goodwills. We got a total of 54 items for $86.82, and that is an average of $1.60 per item. We came home with a ton of women's jeans and a ton of men's shirts and a whole big bag of plush. A lot of our bread and butter items, um, some exciting things which I'm going to show you, but the majority of what we got, like I said, was like my bread and butter jeans and Keith's bread and butter men's shirts. I did pick out some of the more exciting clothing finds to show you today, and I'm actually going to do our haul video this week from our sourcing in two parts. Today is going to be the clothing highlights, and tomorrow I'm going to show you all the plush I got. I have a giant bag of it. I can't help myself. You guys know I love my plush. And there's just so much of it that I'm going to break the haul video into two for you guys. So, um, like I said, we came home with a ton of jeans and men's shirts, which is basically our bread and butter for clothing. I love doing jeans. Keith loves doing men's shirts. And so I've just picked out just a few of the highlights to show you guys. And I'm going to talk about why we picked out some of these. Because it's not always necessarily about brands. Sometimes it's about how things look. But I'll get into that as I work my way down this pile. Let's just jump on into it. Uh, blue was the 99 cent color of the week. This t-shirt was 99 cents. Most of you guys will recognize him. That is Archer. He is from a popular animated uh, adult show. It says Danger Zone. It's a men's extra large. Um, whenever we find t-shirts of popular uh, cartoons or pop culture or comic book heroes for 99 cents. We always pick them up, especially if they're like an extra large, because that is a good size. Now, I actually found this men's shirt. It was hiding in the jeans. I'm digging through the jeans, and imagine my surprise when I come across a Donald Trump shirt. It was 99 cents, too, which is the best part. So we did pick this up. It's a nice button-down blue long sleeve. It's a bigger size, and it was 99 cents. And it was just hanging out in the jeans for some reason. Somebody probably put it back and didn't want it. Oh well, our gain, their loss. Um, this brand is Orvis. I know that over the summer I showed some Orvis jeans on one of my What Sold videos or men's jean shorts. And they went for a good bit of money and I said that that was a brand to look out for. And since then we have not found any more Orvis until this weekend. These are fishing shirts. They are very similar to the Columbia PFG shirts I showed you guys that Keith picked up last week. Um, those do really well. These are Orvis, so they should even go for more money than the Columbia ones. The only thing is, is I'm sure that you guys can see, they are wrinkled. I keep saying they because there's three of them. I'll show you. But look how wrinkled that is. So Keith is going to actually have to steam these to get all the wrinkles out before he photographs them. Um, because if you photograph them like this, they're just going to look like crap. And you want your pictures to look nice. You want your clothes to look nice and crisp and wrinkle-free. Um, having nice photos always helps your items sell for higher dollar amounts and faster. So, um, yeah, these are bad. Here, I'll show you. So, you got three. They're all green. They have the vents. They're all the fishing shirts. They're buttoned up. He paid full price for them. I think it's like $5.29 for men's shirts. Um, like I said, they're identical. They're all the same size, the same color. They all have the vents, and they're all wrinkled. <laughs> so um, he did pick up three of them, and um, I'm excited to see. We haven't comped him yet, or he might have, but we'll ha we'll definitely have to steam those. And this is the last men's shirt. It is Tommy Bahama. It is just a button-up, like brown and blue plaid shirt. Um, these Tommy Bahamas that are more plain like this do not go for as much money as the cool ones with all the graphics and stuff, but this one was only 99 cents. So we picked it up. Now we're going to get into the jeans. And um, I said at the beginning of the video, we're going to talk about why I picked some of these out. So I know I've said this before, but sometimes it's not always about brand. Sometimes it's about how something looks. So often if Keith finds a shirt that has really nice graphics on it or it's just like super cool looking but not such a great brand, if it's a couple bucks or less, he'll go ahead and pick it up. Because sometimes people will buy stuff just if it's unique, has a cool print, or has really nice graphics and the brand doesn't matter if it's unique. D does that make sense? Especially on Posh. Like when you list stuff on Posh, people aren't always necessarily searching for brands. You share your stuff from your closet, people see it, and if it's unique enough or has nice enough graphics or really cool print, they'll like it, and then you can send an offer to Liker and make a sale. 
So um, I'm going to show you some items I picked up this, this weekend that um, aren't great brands, but they're very unique looking and nice, and I'm confident that um, they will do well. This was 99 cents. This is Paris Blues. Um, again, not a great brand, but these are cool. They have like rhinestones around the waist. They have a raw waistline, and they're real low rise, and they have ultra wide flare legs. I'm probably going to list them as bell bottoms. And the hems are raw as well. So these are just like some cool hippie boho bell bottom pants. Um, they have the raw waist and the raw hems and those nice little rhinestones around the waist. And these aren't jeans. These are slacks and they have a side zip. I've never even heard of this brand. It's called 6x6. But look at the print on these. This is amazing. I don't know if I said it already, but these were 99 cents, and these are just so cool. And I've had slacks like this before, or like pants that are side zip, that are really bright and loud, um, floral prints or boho prints, like paisley and stuff, and I do really well with them. So um, for 99 cents, I will definitely pick up really loud pants like that all day long. I don't care about the brand. Um, these are Gloria Vanderbilt. Now, Gloria Vanderbilt is actually one of my bread and butter brands. I will pick it up if I find it for 99 cents. I focus only on grabbing um, like the larger sizes, size 14 and up. But anytime I find Gloria Vanderbilt size 14 and up, I do snatch it up for 99 cents. It's one of my bread and butter brands. But these actually, well, they are size 16, so they're a good size. But look at them. I picked them up because they were 99 cents, but they are super cool. They have all these different colored stripes and they're multi, um, multi-colored, I guess. There's all kinds of colors in here. Purple, tan, green, red, white. So I thought those were pretty neat and they're a bigger size, which is also good. These are unique. They were 99 cents. I picked them up simply because of the way they look. They're like a dark gray light black color and they have pinstripes and I don't know if the light's showing it but the pinstripes are silver and they're glittery they are glittery and really super shiny I just thought that these were cool for um, 99 cents again sometimes I pick stuff up just because it has a nice look to it these are Talbots they were 99 cents and new with tags now Talbots is another um, bread and butter brand for me. I typically, again, only get them if they're like 99 cents and size 14 or larger. These are only a size 10, but they still had their tags, so I did grab them. Um, I will, you guys know this, I know I've said it, if I find stuff that's new with tags for 99 cents, I will buy it regardless of brand because new with tags moves quicker and fetches you more money. This is a, um, this was 99 cents. This isn't a great brand either. I just wanted to show them um, US Polo Association because they are a good size, but look at this pocket. So I thought these were kind of neat looking for 99 cents, so I grabbed them. Now I have two pairs of men's jeans to show you. If you watched my What Sold video last night, I sold a pair of BKE men's jeans, the Seth style. I accepted a best offer of 40 and I said in that video um, I start all of my men's BKE jeans at $50 universally I always start them at 50 and I usually take a best offer of 45 or 40 and that's fine that's why I start so high because I know I can get 40 or 45 for them so I start at 50 with best offer on and of course on posh they can do offers or you can send them offers so I did pick up two more pairs of men's BKE jeans. I paid full price. I paid $6.99 for these, but I am confident that I will get at least $40 minimum, if not more, per pair. These are the BKE Derricks. They are a size 32 waist. These I um, really liked. They have the flat pockets in the back, the button, but they are distressed, they are ripped, and they are destroyed. And for whatever reason, jeans that are ripped, distressed, destroyed, do really well. And I got one more pair to show you guys. These are the BKE Bradens. These are a size 34 waist. And they don't have any rips or tears or anything. But still, for what they are, I expect to get minimum 40, like I said. I start at 50, hoping that someone will someday just buy them full price. But I take 
um, offers on the men's jeans for 40 or 45 all day long. So I do always pick up men's BKE jeans, especially if they have the names like Bar Braden, Derek, or Seth, stuff like that. And I will pay $6.99 for them. I'll pay full price. Um, women's BKE jeans, and I think I said this last night too, so if you guys watch that video and I'm repeating myself, I apologize. Um, women's BKE jeans, I'm lucky if I can get $25 for nowadays. So I do not pay more than like $0.99 cents or if I could find them half off for 3 bucks or whatever. Um, but the men's BKE have held their value and they still sell for a lot of money. So that is the end of the highlights of the clothing. I will be back tomorrow with another haul video, just plush. It will be just a plush haul. I have a huge um, bag full of them. I'm very excited to show you guys. So we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of what we sourced and let me know if you guys found anything exciting outsourcing did you guys find anything like super amazing or something that had a low cost of goods that you're going to get a good return on let me know i always like to hear what you guys are finding and how you guys are doing do me a favor before you leave and smash the like button if you would if you haven't already and you'd like to please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo you can find us on instagram facebook and twitter we are at flipping hippos until next time you guys have a good night